Hi, this is Clarence Dow of ClarenceDow.com, discovering the power, play, and presence of sound. And I am super, super fortunate today to have two amazing, incredible souls with me, uh, Madi Brinkman and Sudevi Devi Dasi. And together with Sudevi and seven other uh, just phenomenal female kirtan singers from around the world, Madi has initiated just a truly remarkable project that has really touched my heart. It brings together an ancient musical practice with uh, just a great, you know, powerful cause. And I just want to dive right in and ask you, Madi, can you tell us what your project, what Kirtan Shakti is all about? Yes. Hey, Clarence. Um, glad Hi, to be here with you guys. Um, so Kirtan Shakti is a music album featuring, uh, like you said, eight of my friends who also happen to be very um, prominent female kirtan singers. Uh, and the goal is to create a mu music album that will raise funds to help the um, girls in Vrindavan uh, get educated and uh, it's not enough just to give them an education you actually have to clothe them and, and feed them and get the medical care so they can actually be well enough to go through their uh, education through completion um, and we also like the idea of of linking my voice as a kind of through line throughout the album uh, as a way to kind of produce a musical allegory that showcases a male and female voices working together in respectful harmony in a way that hopefully, hopefully inspires people to do the same in their everyday lives. Hmm. And Sue Davey, why are you part of this project? Well, first and foremost, because my very dear friend, Madi, asked me to be part of it. And when he sent me the email, I saw all of the beautiful ladies that were going to be part of it. And then I started seeing also how much good this project would do. Vrindavan is such an extraordinary place. And we go there every year on a pilgrimage. We go there, we touch that place, we bathe in the rivers, we worship that place as the birthplace of Krishna. And so the fact that he wanted to do something that gave back to Vrindavan, to the young girls there who are needy, and also to um, Food for Life. It's a um, wonderful charity project that feeds thousands and thousands of people. And I thought, what a beautiful opportunity to give back to Vrindavan. We get so much spiritual sustenance from that place, and from the sadhus there, and all of the people there. And what a beautiful opportunity to give back. So I felt, yes, definitely, I wanted to be part of this project when he asked. So I felt very honored, really, to be with those ladies as well. So I know, Sue Davey, you're, you're, you're on, the, on the road just constantly for what? It's been 16 years? It's been about 16 years, yeah. That My husband... Been... Kishori Mohan and I, we've been traveling and, and doing kirtan all around the world in almost every country we can imagine. <laughs> it's been an amazing journey. Yeah, kirtan is so powerful. And to um, <clears throat> serve through kirtan has been the most extraordinary process for us in, in our uh, spiritual life. Mm. So I know there's lots and lots of, of kirtan now happening in the United States all around the world. There's Bhakti Fest, there's Shakti Fest, there's Boston Yoga Chant Fest, there's all these different, you know, kirtan happening. So, so can you tell us about what kirtan means to you and what it's been like to, to travel and how you see it um, touching and impacting people's lives? Well, Kirtan, Kirtan is very, very big in the world. I have to agree. It's become a very big um, source of, of 
I don't know how to explain it. When we travel around and I see we go to so many yoga studios, we go to so many homes where people invite us and Kirtan is so big. But one thing is, is that our tradition, we base it more on prayer rather than just being about feeling the bhav or diving into the mood or feeling the bliss. Kirtan is our process of, of yoga. This is the process that we use to link with the divine, with Krishna. And in this day and age, especially of Kali Yuga, this is the dharma, this is the, the way in which we can actually reach perfection. So it is one of the most important aspects of our spiritual life to do kirtan. And so when we're traveling around and we're seeing all these communities and everybody's going on and they're chanting and doing so much but a lot of times we see it's without any basis without any foundation people a lot of times don't even know why they're doing it or what the purpose is and one of the reasons I liked this project so much is that Madi brought it back to Vrindavan the birthplace of Kirtan what is the meaning of Kirtan why do we do it. Why is Vrindavan the birthplace of Kirtan? Mm. What is it? Who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? I thought that this beautiful um, giving back to the community of this CD would also bring a lot of awareness to Vrindavan, to the culture, to the root of Kirtan, you know, to the birthplace of Krishna, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to understand what it is like to really do Kirtan and connect with the Lord. So we see that kirtan is very big in the world, but a lot of times it doesn't have much direction. Mm. And I like that this CD brought it very quickly to a direction. Mm. This is the spiritual roots of kirtan. It is in Vrindavan. So if anyone even sees the little video clip, they'll think, oh, what does that mean? Where is Vrindavan and why is it that that is the, the beginning, the root of all kirtan? What is so special about that place? And so I think that also it will help people become more aware of why they do kirtan, what is the importance of it, and what is the effect. Because kirtan is very, very powerful. No matter what happens, uh, there is a, a, a comfort and a, and a safety that you feel when you are in a kirtan. Um, it's, it is, we have, most of us had very changing lives. I know my, my parents, I, for sometimes I didn't know where my home was. We traveled so much, but the one constant thing was kirtan. So that became a, an audible, an auditory home, I would say, that you, you always knew where you were by where the kirtan was. Mm. I think that's true of so many cultures around the world. Music and sound is, is how they, they create home. Yes. Well, just yes. to add, add to that is, you know, it might be that there are so many different um, opinions, so many different lifestyles, so many different um, ways of thinking, but kirtan is something that unites everyone. You know, as he was saying, you know, there might be, you know, everybody, it's a subjective evolution of consciousness. Everybody's kind of going at their level, but when kirtan is going on, we're all together, we're all one family, and we're all calling out at the same time. And you bond through that. It's a very, very beautiful way to connect with your brothers and sisters, no matter what differences of opinion you may have. It, whether right. it's, in another it's, it's like if you had, if you had a, a, a thousand people of various degrees of karate belt, but they're all doing the same kata at the same time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like you can walk into any temple or anywhere they're doing kirtan, anywhere in the world, and it doesn't matter if you speak completely different languages, are on completely different levels of spiritual advancement, are completely different body colors. Right. You can right. sit down and you will be able to immediately connect on the same plane of through kirtan. It's it's a it's a connecting thing and because the spiritual language is the same. Mm. So we're trying to teach everybody a new language, basically. And if everybody speaks the same language, we can actually unify the whole world, theoretically, through Kirtan. Muddy is on the mission. Mm -hmm. We're doing it.